Tonight, a precious baby boy remains in the pediatric intensive care unit. He is waiting for a heart. I sat down with Abel's parents as they wait, hope, and cherish their son. <laughs> it isn't hard to fall in love with Abel Protova. At three months old, he is happy, hiding the pain. We found out at 20 weeks that he had HLHS um, and that he was going to need surgery um, somewhere between four to 10 days after he was born. HLHS, hypoplastic left heart syndrome. It affects one in 4,000 babies. I did as much research as I could. You know, I wanted to prepare for for this. Abel was born on January 24th and did well after his first heart surgery. Then the unexpected, he had a stroke. The day before he had a stroke, he, I got the biggest smiles and giggles and coos and laughs out of him. Ah. From cooing and laughing to this, Abel was hooked to an ECMO machine, a heart-lung bypass machine. It's basically life support. His parents remember oh, seeing their baby boy that. in that moment, Dale. surrounded by a team to save him. Terrifying. Not knowing whether he's going to have brain damage or not. But Abel, who his parents have nicknamed as Incredible, pulled through again. We just got to hold him. For the first time in two weeks. At this point, doctors said his best option would be a heart transplant. Barb Reisner is the transplant coordinator at Children's Hospital and Medical Center. It's a lifelong commitment that they have, um, they've made when they decided that transplant was what they wanted to pursue. Abel was put on the list on April 21st. Even being sick, he has just been adorable. The smiles and the cooing and the laughing. And now they wait. We know that's what he needs and uh, we know what also comes on the other side of that, a loss for another family. So we keep them in our thoughts as much as we hope for that new heart. John, as you can imagine,